Hey guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang parallel connection of resistors. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So tulad ng series connection, pwede rin magkaroon ng parallel connection ng mga resistors. So paano ba kinoconnect ng parallel ang mga resistors? So let's say meron tayong tatlong resistors na R1, R2, at R3. So para maging connected sila in parallel, dapat yung tulo nila sa taas ay magkakakonek. Ganun din yung dulo nila sa baba, dapat magkakakonek din. So hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng element doon sa pagitan nung isang node, either sa baba o sa taas. So, for example, kung sisingitan natin ng resistor itong R1 at R2, hindi na magiging parallel itong R1 tsaka R2 kasi meron ng element sa pagitan nila. So, dapat, para maging Paralel ang dalawang elements, wala dapat nakakonek na resistor doon sa isang node na nagkoconnect sa kanila. Although, uh, yung R2 at R3 ay considered pa rin na parallel kasi wala namang nakapagitan na element doon sa node nila na to. So, bawal ang may resistor sa pagitan ng node na nasa taas para considered as parallel yung tatlong resistors na to. Okay. Let's consider a circuit. Let's say meron tayong battery that has VT volts and then connected across that battery ay parallel resistors. So let's say meron tayong uh, n number of resistors So let's denote the resistors as R1, R2, R3 and then extending until we reach the last resistor Rn Ngayon, meron tayong nakasupply na VT voltage across the parallel connection of resistors. So, meron din tayong dadaloy na total current dito sa circuit. So, in this parallel connection of resistors, meron tayong equivalent resistance or total resistance dito. So, para makompute yon, ang rule sa parallel resistors ang reciprocal daw ng total resistance ay equal dun sa sum ng reciprocal ng individual resistances. So we have 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus so on until the reciprocal of the last resistor Rn. So para hanapin yung R total, it is equal to 1 all over the reciprocal of the individual resistances. So this is the total resistance for parallel connection of resistors. So kung sa series, ang constant natin ay ang current... Dito sa parallel connection, ang constant natin ay ang voltage. So therefore, ang voltage across R1 is equal sa voltage across R2, equal din sa voltage across R3, hanggang sa voltage across Rn. At yung voltage na yon ay magiging equal doon sa V total o yung voltaheng nagsusupply doon sa circuit.
Now, punta tayo sa current. This time, yung total current natin na IT ay madi-divide doon sa kuryenteng dadaloy sa bawat resistor. So therefore, ang total current natin sa parallel resistors ay equal sa sum noong kuryente na dumadaloy sa bawat resistor. So therefore, IT is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus so on until IN. And lastly, pwede rin natin i-apply ang Ohm's Law sa parallel connection of resistors. So therefore, VT is equal to IT times RT. Okay, so ito yung mga formula at concepts na dapat nating alamin kapag nagsasolve tayo ng parallel connection of resistors. So ngayon, ibigyan ko kayo ng isang example. Let's say meron tayong battery, let's say 60 volts, na nagsusupply sa tatlong resistors connected in parallel. Let's say R1 is equal to 100 ohms, R2 is equal to 200 ohms, and R3 is equal to 600 ohms. So therefore, meron tayong dadaloy na kuryente na IT. Ngayon, hanapin natin yung RT, IT, V1, V2, V3, and I1, I2, at I3. So let's start with the total resistance. So apply natin yung formula na yung RT ay equal sa 1 over the sum of the reciprocal of the resistances. So since meron tayong tatlong resistors, ang RT natin ay 1 all over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So it is equal to 1 all over 1 over 100 ohms plus 1 over 200 ohms plus 1 over 600 ohms. And using the calculator, RT is equal to 60 ohms. Okay. Pwede na nating hanapin yung IT using Ohm's Law. Since meron na tayong RT at meron, na tay at meron tayong VT. Yung VT natin, siya yung voltage source o yung battery. So, VT is equal to IT times RT. So, IT is equal to VT over RT. So, yung VT natin ay 60 volts over yung RT natin ay 60 ohms. So, therefore, IT is equal to 1 amp. Now, pwede nating ma-solve yung bawat voltage across dun sa resistors. Madali lang kasi equal lang sila doon sa voltage source o yung battery. So, therefore, VT is equal to V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V3 which is 60 volts. Okay, paano naman natin nahanapin yung mga kuryente dun sa bawat resistor? Apply lang din natin yung Ohm's Law. Since meron na tayong voltage sa bawat uh, resistor at alam natin yung resistances nila, apply lang natin yung formula na Ohm's Law. For I1, we have I1 is equal to V1 over R1. So, V1 is 60 volts 
over R1 is 100 ohms. So therefore, I1 is equal to 0 0.6 amps. For I2, we have V2 over R2. So we have 60 volts divided by 200 ohms. So therefore, our I2 is equal to 0 0.3 amps. For I3, we have V3 over R3. So V3 is 60 volts over R3 is 600 ohms. So therefore, I3 is equal to 0 0.1 amps. Now, i-verify natin yung formula na ang total current ay equal sa sum ng bawat kuryente sa resistors. So, we know that IT is equal to 1 amp. I1 is equal to 0 0.6 amps. I2 is equal to 0 0.3 amps. And I3 is equal to 0 0.1 amps. So therefore, 1 amp is equal to 1 amp, which is correct. So that is how to analyze parallel connection of resistors. So sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.